Namaste. I'm Dr. Shweta. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist. I'm a fertility consultant as well. I practice at Janista Fertility Center and Hospital, which is located at Basveshwar Nagar in Bangalore. I'm the managing director of uh, Janista Fertility Center and Hospital. Janista. Why Janista? What does Janista mean? Janista means desire. Most of the people come here with a desire to conceive, and that is why you know, we chose the name as Janista. IVF in layman terms is test tube baby. The full form of IVF is in vitro fertilization and we include other procedure also called the ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. What is IVF for ICSI? It is one of the method to help people conceive. So what do we do here is we prepare the woman and the man and take the gametes that is egg and the sperm, we retrieve them and in the lab we perform IVF or ICSI. ICSI is injecting sperm into an egg and form embryo. This embryo we will be placing in the woman's uterus. In short, this is called test tube baby. And the entire fertilization process will be happening in the lab. And the embryo is grown up to 5 day stage that is called the blastocyst stage. And later on, this can be either transferred into the uterus or it can be frozen. So this is a small bit, this is a gist of IVF procedure. Now what is the success rate of IVF? It depends. It depends on each person and why they are undergoing IVF. So generally on the whole we can say that the pregnancy rate is between 50 to 60 percent but then it varies from person to person. See a pregnancy rate is very a uh, generalized term. It is either 0 percent or 100 percent for the person who is undergoing this treatment. So generally the uh, pregnancy rate is really good when the person is undergoing IVF for male factor like oligospermia or azospermia and severe male factor and bilateral tubal block. The main important factor to determine the pregnancy rate in IVF is why are they undergoing this treatment. Suppose if they are undergoing this treatment for male factor like oligospermia, severe azospermia or if they have ejaculatory difficulty and ejaculation or people having both tube blocks. So these are the set of people who would get pregnant in the first attempt. For them the pregnancy rate is much 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 higher than 50 to 60 percent. But when we compare the other set of people whom are undergoing IVF for unexplained infertility or long-standing infertility and you've been married for 15 to 16 years or endometriosis or repeated uh, IUI failure. So these are set of people even when we do IVF the success rate might be slightly lesser than the people undergoing IVF for male factor and tubal factor.